Last part of the Sentinel radio alignment, plus a quick band scan. Ah, good evening, YouTube. Here with you on a uh, Sunday evening. It's 8.48 in the evening. Um, have the uh, Sentinel. If you can see my hand, I guess. Sentinel radio here. I'm still doing the same thing to it. Well, not doing the same thing to it. We're doing the RF section now. On the uh, and I am going to use the same um, uh, ABC tri type procedure one more time to see if it works any better this way. But we're supposed to uh, tune the uh, radio to exactly 1650 on the uh, dial. Uh, the only thing I know is to take it as far as it goes, which is right there. You can see it's up against the stop right there. It's fully open. I'm assuming that's 1650 because you get 16, uh, 1600 right there, and uh, they made a big big deal out of this one being accurate over here. So I, I'm just assuming that is 1650. And we uh, got to tune. I'm letting the uh, signal generator warm up a little bit, and uh, we're going to tune that to exactly 1650. And I've got it coupled, same as same way as last time. Just a uh, loop against the loop loop-de-loop -loop. and uh, like I said I'm gonna hook up the uh, meter here in a bit and what we're gonna be measuring or adjusting I should say is this uh, trim trimmer right here for the oscillator and let's turn it around just a little bit I'm trying to show both of them this time I, I didn't do that last time and I know everybody kind of gets mad at me when I don't do that sometimes but uh, you know I forget I'm, not, I'm no different than anybody else, I forget. So let me go ahead and put that there, see if I can get both of these pictures in the pictures. Yeah, I think that'll get both of them in there, pretty much. I think the uh, RF signal generator has warmed up sufficiently. Let's see what the, I think I can get to where I need to go with just this on this band, I hope. If not, I guess I can go to the next band. 1650, oops, I just had it. It is 1650-147. That's pretty darn close. Now let's uh, turn up the, uh, oh, I gotta turn the, uh, or I gotta plug the uh, radio in. Won't work at all without plugging it in. And it looks like we do have a signal coming in. Oh, I see what it is. I'm on. I'm on the wrong voltage range. There we go. Now I'm going to leave that up right about there. Three and a half. And you can hear how quiet it is. That means we are on the right frequency. I'll just tune it off a little bit. So, yeah, it did need to, did need to uh, move just a hair, I think. Let me get my uh, my same same one and see if I can use it for this. No, I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to try the uh, screwdriver and see if that does works. It should. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's got some range to it. Let me turn this down a little bit. Right there. Get just a little bit. Uh, poke on the right spot, I guess. There we go. Alright, take it down some more. Oh, wrong way. Alright, there's our little peak. Back up there where it was. I want to call that, uh, whoops, call that not done yet.
we'll call that right there good. So that's going to be our 1650. And uh, that one will work just fine, I think. Next one is to adjust the uh, approximately to 1400 KC on the dial. And approximately 1400. Uh, I don't know why it says approximately 1400 on the. Uh, test ox oscillator, the RF signal generator. It doesn't make much sense, but that's what it says, so let's do that. Um, I'm going to leave that connected. For now, I'm just going to take and turn this down to 1400. Turn that down. We didn't need to volume up on it anyway. Now that is right at 1400. So, let's get our or what you call it down. I don't think it'll go down that much. Let's see if it will. Yeah, I guess it will. All right, there's 1399.711. That's close enough, I think. And let's see where our signals are. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna go up a little bit from there. Let's try about right there. And let's. Uh, what we're gonna tune now is. The uh, antenna trimmer, trimmer for maximum output. So let us find the antenna trimmer right here and see if we can't tune that a little bit. I think I'm going to use a different screwdriver. That uh, is not quite big enough to do the job I want to do. This may not be any better, but we'll try it. These things have not been adjusted in a long time. And it's going right on up. And there's our peak. Call it right there. All right, we are good for that. Now that is completes the RF and the AF, or AF, IF. <laughs> Uh, for this radio. Now it's almost dark. It is like I said 8.59 now in the evening and I think I'm just going to launch right on into the uh, band scan but first I'm going to go ahead and put this radio back together and uh, get everything hooked up like it was like it should be I should say and we'll go from there so stay tuned for that. Oh, welcome back again, YouTube. I have the uh, Sentinel radio all ready for its dial, dial scan. Um, late night DX, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, 908, I think, is what it is. I can't even see the daggone clock. It's so dark. Yeah, 907. Well, that's close enough. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and do this. Just finish the RF section doing that. So, let's... Uh, Let's see if I can put this on this side. Maybe I won't get my hand in the way. There we go. Starting out at 1650, going down the band. Now, I probably won't stay long on each station. Just want to get an idea of what kind of uh, reception we're getting.
Lane's roadways with a tree across, and if there's a power line involved, until the power comes. Has spent their entire professional career, 20 plus years now. Um, or call go there's the uh, band scan let me turn some lights on I think it uh, came out pretty good I'm, I'm happy with it and uh, like I said the, even the daytime um, performance of this radio seems to be uh, you know better than most that I've had in here um, it does have a bit of a hum but I don't think that's uh, uh, in fact I know it's not uh, power line related That's WHAS. These uh, dials seem to be uh, pretty much on, on target now. I notice the uh, local station is now before uh, 140. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's close to 140 right there. It's pretty close anyway. I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, like I said, that's uh, a good look at the Sentinel. Now it is completely done. Um, don't know what else I could do to it to make it in better. Now I did use again the uh, ABC voltage on this last measurement, and I, I think it works much better. Uh, my own opinion, uh, you know, whatever that's worth. But uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another radio here. I was thinking about the uh, Japanese radio. I never did get to do that one. Uh, I think it was pretty hot too. I don't think it was no slouch when it come to DXing things like that. But uh, I kind of like to tune it up a little bit and see what it does, and uh, see if I can find the ABC uh, voltage source on it, and go that route with it. And I think that works so much better, or it's so much easier to do than uh, the speaker because you don't have to have that loud noise going, and it didn't didn't even take any modulation, just the the tone coming out of the, uh, not the tone, but the uh, frequency coming out of the uh, signal generator, and that's pretty much it. So I kind of like that. All right, I think this is going to wrap up our little alignment series on the uh, Sentinel radio. Okay. Uh, so, all right, I have said enough now for this night. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thanks for watching, and we will see ya.